everyone, this is Miss Jess from the Monroe Street Art Center and I am here today to talk about our Christmas Carol Art Kit. Um, we have done a collaboration with the Children's Theater of Madison. We are so excited about it because $10 from each art kit um, is being donated back to the Children's Theater. Um, so thank you guys so much for purchasing one of these. I really hope you enjoy your digital copy of A Christmas Carol this year. Um, so all of the projects from this kit are going to be about the theme of A Christmas Carol. Um, the first one that I'm gonna show you today is a snowy cityscape, right? So in A Christmas Carol, the whole story takes place in London, England. And all throughout the play, right, you can see different street scenes of the buildings, of the streets, of the roads, of the people walking around. So I thought that this could be a really fun project to do with our kids today. To do this project, you guys are gonna find inside of your kit, mine is already opened up, um, a rolled up piece of drawing paper, right? There should be two of them. So I'm gonna take my painter's tape off and I can open them up. Now, since there's two of them, I actually think I might wanna save one just in case for something else. I could always cut out snowflakes from that one or use that for a different project, maybe my stocking project. Okay. All right, now with this one that I've got here, if yours is a little, um, crinkly from being rolled up in like a little tube, you can just simply roll it the other direction and that should help your paper kind of straighten back out. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, totally. <laughs> nice and straight and ready to go. I think just for the sake of keeping this video nice and short for you guys, I'm actually gonna make a smaller version of this project. So what I'm gonna do is cut this in half and I'm gonna do the same project, just a little bit smaller scale so it doesn't take quite as long, okay? So I've got my piece of paper. A good idea, right, is to start with pencil just in case you make a mistake. It's always easier to erase. The second thing I'm gonna do is outline it with a very skinny uh, fine tip Sharpie. Um, that way it helps my lines stand out, especially since I'm gonna be adding some color to this. By adding um, a Sharpie, it gives it a nice thick black line so you can really see all those details much better when the color is added, okay? Um, and then finally, as far as coloring this project, you can use whatever coloring materials you want. I used a combination of paint for my background and then colored pencils for my buildings. And I'm gonna do a little time lapse of my project when I really get going on this. So you guys can kind of see, um, see it sped up how I kind of work through mine, okay? So here's my biggest piece of advice. When you go to draw the buildings, start by drawing basic building shapes, right? And then you can kind of think about all of those little details. Buildings are all totally different. Some of these windows are, you know, circular shaped at the top. Um, some of them are actually perfect circles. These ones have little blinds in the window, right? All of the rooftops are even different. Shingles on the rooftops. You can think of chimneys on the roofs. Think about little doorways. Is there ways to get in and out of the building? What do those look like, right? all the little details. So I'm gonna start, like I said, by drawing some really basic shapes and I'll hold it up here so you guys can see as I'm working. Maybe I'll start with, ooh, one big one that's kind of like leaning off to the side. And that one I don't think I'm gonna give it a rooftop yet. Maybe my next building is kind of like a top heavy triangle shape. Okay, I'm also kind of like overlapping them too. That's something you can think about. They don't have to be perfectly touching right next to each other. Maybe I want another building that is a circle shape or like a dome. And then, I don't know, let's see, maybe I can fit two more on here. Well, maybe one more for now. So again, super basic, right? Now that I've got my basic shapes down, I can start to think about the details. A rooftop, maybe windows, um, a doorway. Maybe this particular building, since it is in the shape of a circle, is going to have a circle door on it. Okay. Another building might have a door that is a regular door, like a rectangle. Okay. okay, now ways to make it look like a snowy city. If you draw some jaggedy looking triangles on the ends of your rooftops, 
that looks like ice, doesn't it? It looks like it's like melting little icicles from the very top of our buildings. You can do that on your windows, rooftop, chimney. I have it from the clock here as well. So maybe that's what I'm gonna do next is add some of these jaggedy looking icicles to the top of my buildings. There's no right or wrong way to do this. You can have as much or as little ice and snow as you want, okay? I can think about a chimney up here. There are different kinds of chimneys. Maybe another one has a one that comes off the side. I can draw a little smoke coming out of it. Okay. Like that. Let's see what else I can do. Maybe on my circle windows here. One, two, three. Maybe you can even see a little Christmas tree in one of the windows. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna add a few more details here and then I think I'll be ready to paint it and to color it. I'm going kind of fast. You guys can take your time. If there's references that you want to use to help you with this project, feel free. You can look at books for ideas of how to draw buildings. You can take a walk outside and look at different houses, see all the different details on them. Some windows like these ones here, I'm dividing up into smaller sections. Makes it look like a little bit of a fancier window. And let's see, I think I'm going to do a few more circle windows on this. And then what I'm going to do is start to create a video, a time lapse video, so you guys can watch me finish working through this, see which parts I color first and how I save my details for the very last part. Okay. So have fun with this, get creative. And then at the very end, I'll give you a few couple of last tips on how to finish off our drawings. All right, you guys, so I just finished decorating my snowy cityscape. As you guys watched on the time lapse, I decided to use paint and markers for mine. Um, have fun with this, go nice and slow. Obviously, everything that was ice, I left white so that it really stands out against my buildings, right? Now, there's one last thing that I thought we might be able to use on this project. Inside of your kit, you guys are gonna find some fake snow. We have a little container of fake snow. So, to add this to my drawing today, I'm just gonna use some wet Elmer's glue. You do not have glue inside of your kit this time, so I hope that you have some at home. Um, and actually, what I'm gonna do is use a paintbrush and I'm gonna spread my glue out, and then anywhere that I have glue, I'm going to sprinkle on top of my fake snow, and it's gonna stick anywhere that I put the glue. So let's see how this turns out. I'm gonna do a little bit on top of my ice here. We'll see if this shows up kind of shimmery. Maybe on this one too. Never a bad idea to have some old paint brushes that can be designated glue brushes. Um, this one is just an old one that I'm not really using anymore, so I use it for glue. Okay, so I put glue across the top right here on top of where I drew my icicles, and now I'm gonna sprinkle some of this. Open it up, we'll sprinkle it on top. I might even take my finger and I'm just gonna like press it down a little bit to make sure that it's stuck. And then you can do this over a surface where you're gonna wanna knock off any of the extra snow that's not sticking to it. So I'm gonna go ahead. Ah, yay! Oh, that turned out so cool. So now look at my snow up there. It looks real, it looks cold and icy, you guys. <laughs> So you can do this anywhere on your drawing that you want to, okay? 
I hope you guys have fun with this. Um, I can't wait to see what you come up with. Have fun.